Good morning. Good afternoon, all. I want to welcome welcome you here. I am Micah Vivian. I'm a principal product manager here on Azure Communication Services at Microsoft. Today, I want to introduce you to Azure Communication Services Calling, go through the features, the capabilities, and go th you, take you through the process to set up your local development environment. And I also take you through a start to finish five minute wow calling experience that you can set up with very little process. Today, the, 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 my video will go through introduction to Azure Communication Services, the calling capabilities that we have available. You'll learn the various components that we present. And as I said, we'll go through an, a real world calling experience that you can set up with low code resources. So what is Azure Communication Services? Azure Communication Services is a platform based on the power of Microsoft. It's a cloud solution that adds voice, video, SMS, email, and other capabilities to your calling products and communication products. It is built to be identity agnostic. You can bring your own identity. It's pay as you go. So if you don't use something, you don't pay for it. So therefore you have the flexibility to use and trial as much as you want with no pain to you for having to pay for something that you didn't use. It's built for ultra scale mission critical workloads. It's built on the footprint of Microsoft data centers, the foundations that has been built by Teams and Skype before that. We have complete SDKs and APIs available to allow you to build out the complete and complex communication workflows that you desire. It has full Azure interoperability and we deliver Azure communication services with enterprise promises. Uh, uh, promises. As I mentioned before, it's uh, it's built on the foundation of Teams. So you can add Teams calls to your ACS endpoints. So you can have endpoints where have portions of the people on ACS and other portions of people are on Teams. And it has integration with Logic Apps and Copilot Studio. So what are the different primitives available on ACS? So we have the a wide range of items from voice and video calling, chat, tele, uh, telephony, SMS, WhatsApp, and email. So from the upper points where you have low latency, high touch points, high interaction items like voice and video, we offer that. And then if you have async communication, multi-engagement uh, models with customers such as email or, or WhatsApp, we also offer that. Each of these primitives offer a complete and full set of features and capabilities to allow you to interact with your customers and communicate with them however your, your wants need, you want. Now let's talk about specifically voice and video, why we're here today. What are some of the things that we offer? So voice and video, you can set up one-to-one -one calls. So I can call from the ACS calling SDKs. I can call from myself to someone else on an ad hoc call. You can set up group calls. And you can set up multiple group calls or and also uh, their scheduling items around that. We offer voice and video screen sharing capabilities. You can embed the, uh, the pro calling product in web uh, browsers, mobile apps, desktop uh, applications, as well as other calling SDKs. As I mentioned, we have the scale worldwide coverage of Teams. So ACS is built on the foundation of Teams. We use many of the same components and media engines as available Teams. So you can be assured that you'll get the coverage and reliability and quality that people expect from Teams. We are built as a platform for developers. So the SDKs and the APIs are built for you as a developer to allow you to create the complex workflows that you want. So we build it for you to be able to deliver to your customers. But we also realize you as a developer, many times you want to go fast and get products out the door uh, in, a, in a low touch point. So we offer open source UI library components for low code solutions. We pre-build UI components and open source them so you could take them and leverage them to deliver fast solutions. We offer comprehensive call debugging and post-call analysis tooling. So you as a developer and an analyst and a data scientist can go and look at your calls and understand the aspects of what the reliability and quality were, where the good points happen and bad points happen. So you can uh, debug those and fine tune the calling experience. 
We have numerous points for AI integration. AI is a key point that we're driving for. We understand people want to take the media that is driven and, and discussed in a call and offload it to AI points so you can uh, get feedback instantaneously. And ACS uh, or uh, Azure, Azure, Azure Video Communication product is built on trust. We offer HIPAA compliant, GDPR compliant, and we're available in Azure GovCloud. So what are some of the core capabilities that we offer? Well, like I said, we, we already offer one-to-one -one group calling capabilities. Great, we have that for you. We are tailored SDKs for uh, iOS. We offer for um, mobile web uh, calling products. We are one of the few platforms that really optimize a calling product for mobile web. That's a big thing for many people where they don't want to install an app. We offer calling SDKs so you can take uh, calls from a mobile device on your mobile web browser. We offer screen sharing and full device management capabilities. As I mentioned before, we have PSD and support, and we also have call recording, so you can record your calls for your compliance for post-call analysis. And we have call automation. So we also have a server-based intelligent workflows that you can drive so you can route calls, you can manage calls with server-based calling APIs. As I noted, ACS is built on the Teams Foundation. So that allows you as a developer to build in Teams interop calling. So if you have participants who want to stay on their Teams app, but also have your clients or customers be on an ACS endpoint, you can do that. We offer that full workflow so you can have those interop calls. That is a big thing for many people where in today's world, the complexity of people not wanting to leave one app and stay their workflow on, on Teams, we have solutions uh, there for you. As I noted, we have the UI library. The UI library allows you to build your own user in, uh, 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 interface experiences based off of the source code we deliver. You can modify it and deliver it uh, to your heart's content as it's open source, so you can tweak it as however you fit. We have tooling for to, to allow you to diagnose your quality and reliability. That is a very complex complex thing in today's world to be able to do a post-call analysis and understand where there were good points and bad points of the call where customers ran into bandwidth issues or had lots of jitter or latency. We have those endpoints uh, uh, available and for you to consume and, and also tooling available too. You can understand where there were uh, bad points and you can go off later and address those issues. We also all offer voice and video insights so you can get, gain and gather deeper inspection of kind of the overall calling aspects of how people are able to use your product. Now I want to go through a video to explain kind of the more touch points of how you can get started. Today, I want to go through the Azure Communication Services Calling SDK. I want to give you a high level understanding of how you can use a calling SDK what you need to get started from the Azure perspective, what resources you need to create in your local machine to have a development environment. And from there, I'll also walk you through how you create from start to finish a working calling product and have the app do be deployed within Azure within under five minutes. The calling SDK can be operated in a headless environment. This means you as a developer would build your application around the core calling SDK and APIs, and you will develop your own user interface around this. The Azure Communication Services Calling SDK support web, web browser calling, Android, iOS, and at Windows SDK, and others. Additionally, there's an open source UI library available from ACS, Azure Communication Service, which provides a pre-built UI components composites that you can use and reuse and modify to suit your needs. Let's talk about getting started first. So to get started first, you'll need to log into Azure. To log into Azure, you'll need an account. If you don't have one, you can create one for free. So let's go here to Azure, and let's. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to create resources. Um, let's create a resource. Go here to Communication Services. Uh, there we go. And go to the communication uh, Azure Communication Services. Let's create one. 
I already have a resource group created. If you don't have a resource group, please create one. Resource groups uh, provide a logical container to manage or organize Azure resources. So uh, let's give it a name. Let's give it my ACS demo 2025. And let's have it be the location be here in the US. So I'm going to go off and create and create. This will take a few moments to complete, let it do its magic and work. As you can see, that resource creation has been completed. All right, let's go to the next step. Let's talk about getting your local development environment set up. To use ACS in a local development environment, you'll need a few things installed. You'll need Git, Node.js, and a source code editor like Visual Studio Code. I'm not going to go through those details, but the process should be straight, pretty straightforward. See the ACS documentation if you need more details and help. Next, let's talk about the high-level details of ACS access tokens. Access tokens enable the calling SDKs to authenticate directly against Azure Communication Services as a particular identity. You need to create tokens for end users if they want, if you want them to join a call or join a, the chat capabilities within your application. You can use REST APIs and other tools to generate and manage these uh, tokens. I'm not going to go through low-level details of using uh, ACS token management, but I encourage you to read the customer documentation. Now that we've talked about setting up Azure Portal and the local development environment, you might be thinking to yourself, that sounds great, but I don't have the time to go through these details. I just want to see it working in production. You can use the ACS Sample Builder to create a calling product that creates a user interface and is deployed in Azure in real time and have this process be completed in under five minutes. Let's get started. Let's talk about it. The Sample Builder allows you to create a custom calling experience using the ACS Calling SDK for web. The Sample Builder has already created user interface components that are based off the open source UI library that we just talked about. The Sample Builder includes uh, features such as scheduling capabilities and also the option to allow you to ask end of call survey questions to end users of how they liked the calling experience. The Sample Builder manages the details for creating Azure resources. So previously we talked about creating Azure resource, the Sample Builder will create that for you. And it will also uh, create a Azure app for you and necessary other components and deploy it for you within minutes. Let's get started. First, let's go to the Sample Builder. And here's the user interface. Let's do one for um, banking. Okay, let's just stay there. And let's have it use rooms as a sample. Let's have it go my, my reactor bank on a side like that color, creating a custom look and feel. Let's have it do an in uh, call survey, create a one uh, question poll. How do we do? And uh, let's make it a five star and hit next. And let's get ready to deploy it. So let's deploy. All right. So all right. So now we're here in Azure getting ready to deploy the sample builder. Let's reuse existing resource group we had before. Let's give it the app service name of my bank 2025 and my bank 2025. And let's, uh, that's an app service name that will create. And this is the ACS communication service resource that will create the under. Uh, let's create and review. And let's go and hit create. And now this process will go through and create the Azure resource and create the necessary Azure uh, components so that the app can be hosted in Azure. Okay, the sample builder has completed creation. Let's go and see what it created. So we've it's gone through and created an Azure resource, as well as many other uh, an Azure app service and a few other dependencies. So if we go to the app service, we can see that it created an app service. Let's go see where it, what we have hosted here. So it's uh, let's fire that up. 
we have a calling product that was built by the sample builder. This web page is a introduction page where uh, you can come in and decide if you want to be starting as a presenter or share a link with someone. Let me start up and join the call so I can show you around the user interface a little bit. So let's join the call. This is the user interface that's built by ECS call, powered by ECS Calling SDK and the user library interface. As you see, it has various things to allow you to do uh, device management for camera, microphone, be able to raise hands when you chat with someone else, present your desktop, um, turn on live captions, um, many other things. So I'll turn on captions before I start the call. I'll go muted and I will bring in a counterpart to this call. All right, I've sent the link to my counterpart. They, I'm going to pretend I am a banker and been having a client join the call. Well, all right, let's pretend we're a banker and a client. Hello, uh, this is Bank. Uh, where you want to call and talk about uh, your questions about a new mortgage. Yeah, hello. Uh, I'm very interested. I would love to get some details. Please share, Mr. Banker. Thank you. All right. So once again, with this user interface, you can see various details of what the UI library presents allows you to easily uh, create a full calling experience so I can join a call with my counterparts, be able to have the controls be easily to be shared, turn on closed captions, etc. I'm going to end the call. And I want to end the call. Um, we also have a five star uh, summary rating. So you can go off and rate the call and send feedback. Once that, that uh, five-star call, five call rating goes in, you can use ACS Analytics to look up those details. Thank you very much. I want to thank everybody for the time here. Um, and do we have any questions? With that, then um, I, I'm not seeing if we have any questions, but if we if we don't, I think we can probably say thank you. I encourage everybody to follow up with the links here that have been shared to look at more on Azure Communication Services calling the UI library, the Call Diagnostic Center, and all the other capabilities we have. We encourage you to to try all the uh, the product, and if you have further questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you. <laughs>